So now I've got nothing is really a uh, closed entity here, or it's hard to get a closed entity. And I got one more to extend, two more lines to extend, one more side. Because I've got these overlapping lines or these corners. And I kind of showed that in the, uh, the video. The problem was that what I did in my previous hatch video, I used uh, rectangles to do, do this. Okay, none of this will really want to hatch, and if we try to do it, let's say I want to hatch um, this wall right here, the one to the right, and I'm going to use solid hatch. It won't hatch because it says that I do not have a uh, entity chosen closed entity invalid hatch area okay I'm going to show you a couple workarounds now you got two corners for each wall and what I'm going to show you on the uh, the workarounds here is only one corner you just have to remember that you'd have to do it for both corners for a particular wall and uh, you may want to do this with these overlapping lines because for instance say this wall is connected to a bathroom and it might be a six inch wall instead of a four inch wall so it allows time uh, spacing for the plumbing 
Uh, outside wall may be longer or wider. It may have brick on brick veneer or it may have something else on it. Uh, so uh, it all depends on how everything's finished. And uh, so you end up with a lot more complicated surface than what I got with this simple box. Okay, we're going to go to the one that I uh, sent to him. Whoops. To show my workarounds. Okay, we got this original corner and it will not hatch. And uh, I used some different colors here to uh, make things a little more explicit. So I drew the walls on layer zero. And uh, what I can do is, if I turn off this hatch red temporarily, you see what I did was I erased those uh, overlapping lines. That may or may not work for you. Uh, because you may need to keep those lines for some reason. So, if we then, I just owned, uh, did a case here where I only eliminated one line, so I wanted to show the full wall going all the way through, show which wall was nailed to which one. Uh, so, if I try to hatch that, and let's turn back on hatch red. I tried to hatch that, so I uh, do a select. I select this whole thing. It will not hatch because I did not select this line right here, so we'll select that line now. Okay, we've selected that line. The problem is that it selected the whole line across, and it will not hatch because of that. And uh, we'll do hatch red. too late but anyhow it will not hatch so what you have to do often to, to beat this stuff is I'm showing the steps up here and I actually will provide this uh, this DXF on my website when I uh, do this as a post as well as a video uh, step one you want to uh, eliminate this line up here at the top Okay, step two, you have to trim this line at the bottom. Okay, and then what we'll do is that we'll then use a two-point line. And I'll show you an example of that. And we'll attach it to the ends of these. And I create that green line right there. Uh, I'll undo that. To leave this back the way it was originally and then that's what I did right there by creating that line now I have to do the same trim for this other line and then create it as a separate line right here normally I would be doing that in the uh, same level that I, whatever I drew the wall in but I did it in green on here just to show you to make it to clarify what I'm uh, clarify it so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now that I have done that, I can hatch each of these parts. And, uh, let's see, let's just create a new hatch. Oops, I don't want to modify a layer. I want, well, we'll just hatch it in green. Okay, so I'll hatch, and I can now hatch this. When I do the vertical one, I select... Shouldn't have done it with windows. Let's do it with a. Uh... Oops, sorry about that. Control K. Okay, now let's uh, select it, hatch, select the parts, and you'll see I have to select these two. Uh, small lines right now. Now I have a closed entity and I can hatch it and it hatched. Okay, let's undo that hatch and now if I wanted to do the vertical or the horizontal part I can do the same thing. I select the four sides and I can hatch that. So that's your workaround. It's a pain when you're doing a whole big uh, a whole big layout on a house. 
uh, all your windows. Usually you draw those with a little bit of wider offset to show the window uh, frames. You do something to denote that it's a window there. Uh, and that means that you're going to have to break every one of those lines. Uh, it gets old in a hurry, but it is just the way it is. And uh, uh, that's my experience. Uh, doing a layout on a house, a floor plan on a house, is not a lot of fun. But, hey, it, uh, it's something to do, I guess, right? <laughs> So appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of this. And hopefully it answered some questions that I didn't answer before. Again, this uh, this particular DXF, which is called Hatch Revisited, will be available uh, on my blog. And I'll have a link at the bottom of how you can get to the page. You Unfortunately, you have to go to the page and then click on the, uh, on the uh, particular DXF there. To download, I can't send you directly to the DXF from from out of the site. Uh, it's something the way WordPress works. So anyhow, this is a way of getting it done, and I appreciate you listening. Uh, have fun. Uh, sometimes this is a, a glass of wine can help toler make this stuff tolerable, but it it's a whole lot better than hand drafting. So. It's just the way it is. By the way, uh, the other CAD programs are no better from what, from my experience. They may be better now that they're, uh, they keep improving, but uh, the fact that you're using a, a free CAD here with LibreCAD is not what the problem is. It's just a, a problem with hatching. The computer doesn't know what an area is when you have these lines like this over here. So uh, it's just part of it. Uh, now I'm sounding like it's just tough up. Well, now nah, it's just, hey, it's just is the way it is. Appreciate you listening. This is Gary Fox from Create and Make. Hopefully you got something out of this.